good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Day of Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We are back at it again with another episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery. I feel like it's been too damn long since we had a surgery. I think that's because our last WWE Elite Series 76, we didn't have any that we wanted to do surgery on. We only had an action figure appointment. And today we are back with our surgery. We got the freaking Fiend Bray Wyatt. We got Miss Elizabeth. We got AJ Styles. Three figures from the set featured today from Elite Series 76 that we're going to do some surgery on. You're probably wondering why the hell I have Miss Elizabeth in here. I'm going to get into that. We're going to get into that ish. But another thing I also want to mention is that Ronda Rousey's sitting right here. And the only reason Ronda Rousey's sitting here is because I want her to represent the rest of the way. Viscera, Ronda Rousey, Rick Rude. Do not see any potential surgery with them at this juncture. We could end up doing something with them in the future. But Rick Rude, I felt, was pretty damn perfect outside of the ink stains on him. I don't think you can get those off. I'm actually seeing where a lot of people are having problems with the ink stains on their Rick Rude figure. Viscera was pretty much perfect. The only thing I would say is if I could come up with some way to give him a cloth shirt and I could cut the rubber off and then replace it with like a pretty detailed cloth version of his overthrow or, or leather trench coat or whatever the hell you want to call that. That is the only way I would probably put him in here so he could, you know, be articulate and stuff like that. But for now, he's up on the shelf with King Mabel looking pretty damn good and everything like that. But today we do have the Fiend Bray Wyatt, we got AJ Styles, and we have Miss Elizabeth that we're all going to work on, and I'm very excited to do so with them. And you guys know how surgery works. We're going to get in here, explain what we're doing first, and then we will move on to actually do the surgery itself. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into our surgery, guys. Today, we are going to be fixing up our Fiend Bray Wyatt. I was not able to salvage the other Bray Wyatt, the one with the shoulder problem. I actually want to show that real quick. So pulling it up right here, guys, you will see, you guys know that my shoulder was all busted. I did crack the torso right here and pull the shoulders out. Here is the left arm that was the one that was busted and here is the right arm. You guys know that uh, the, the left shoulder was the one that would not move. This is how the right shoulder moves. You guys can see here that it perfectly goes up and down. The right shoulder was not the issue. It was the left shoulder and if you guys will see here, I am pushing this ish with all of my might and it is just not moving. It will not move. I've actually investigated it a little bit. If we get in here, it's seems as if there's some factory glue they got up in here and I've heated it up. I've tried pliers. I've tried boiling water. I've tried hair dryer. I've tried everything I know to do and I've pushed so hard trying to get this to articulate that this part of it is now ripping off because it it's just so stuck that it is ripping the rubber peg here that plugs into the arm and I cannot do anything about it. So I guess it is busted. I tried to even like get in there and dremel the glue loose or something. It's just is not happening, man. It is so stiff and not working. So I'm guessing that some factory glue that seals the torso and seals other parts of the figures together seeped into that seam right there, and it's just busted. It's just a freak accident, and I guess now I have some leftover Bray Wyatt fiend fodder laying around that maybe we could use on a future episode or we can do something crazy with in the future. Maybe a fantasy attire. I don't freaking know, man. We'll just get into that later, but today we are going to be fixing up this Bray Wyatt fiend because if you guys already saw, they did like a second batch of these, and on the second batch of the Fiend Bray Wyatt figures, they have actually fixed the, uh, the 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 problem that I called out in the review. I talked about how brown his hair was, and that it needed to be more of a golden, blondish color, and you guys can see on the image in your screen that they actually did a rehaul of it. The second shipment, or third shipment, they actually fixed it, and they have blonde hair on the Fiend. So today, we're going to fix ours up. I got some different yellow colors that we're going to try out. Hopefully we can get that going. We are going to paint that hair up, get it the golden brown color that is accurate and then we're going to also seal that up, make sure our Fiend figure looks good for the future and that's what we're going to do with the Bray Wyatt Fiend. We already know what happens with Ronda Rousey. We already discussed what we're going to do with her. Jack nothing. Then we're moving on to Elite 77 AJ Styles. Now for this guy I am going to be removing both of the kick pads, placing on these black open knee pads and get rid of the, uh, you know, the Jack Japanese lettering right here. I want to have solid black open knee pads for this guy and I'm also going to switch out the left kick pad with the left kick pad for my extra Elite 71 Elite 61 AJ Styles. That way we will have a full black and red attire with red and black kick pads with white outlines right there so that he will have full red kick pads and it'll be more of a reddish attire instead of the solid black over here. And I don't know what we'll do with the extra black 
and we'll, we'll figure something out. But I do want to fix up this AJ, fix the knee pads, fix the kick pads, and give him that black and red look going forward. Uh, now we're getting into Miss Elizabeth, and you're probably like, why the hell would you want to fix up Miss Elizabeth? Well, Brad, I'll tell you. One thing I want to do, you guys know that I'm making my wife's figure. I want to give a huge shout out to my man, New York Backyard Legend, my boy, the original Balor guy. He made a point to me. He said, me and my wife actually see your wife's face in the Elite 77 Miss Elizabeth figure. And I said, is that true? So then I pull the figure up and I'm like, holy crap. If you ignore the hair and yeah, the eye color is dark. My wife's eyes are actually blue. So that will have to be addressed at some point. But the likeness to my wife is actually super there. It's actually kind of crazy how much it looks like her if you remove this hair. So we're going to attempt to do that. We're going to remove this hair today and we're going to remove the hair from this Trish Stratus. And I think I want to put this hair over here and see if we we can get my wife's face out of there. Hopefully the forehead doesn't get a lot of damage to it. Probably will. I'll probably have to do some other things to it. If anything, we'll just remove the hair from this and see what that looks like. But I think we have found the head scan that we're going to use for my wife's figure and that is awesome. So I guess that's what we'll do first. We'll work on my wife's head sculpt. Then we'll move on to AJ Styles and then we will finish it up with a painted accurate Fiend figure. So if you guys ended up with the first version of the Fiend with the brown hair, today you're going to find out how to fix that that and what colors you'll need and everything like that to create the accurate color for your Bray White hair if you ended up with one of those brown first shipment theme figures and you want to fix it. So with that being said guys, let's dive into our WWE action figure surgery starting off with Miss Elizabeth. Alright guys, so first order of business is I am just going to put Miss Elizabeth's face right up in here and I guess I can go ahead and put Trish's in there as well and just see if we can get both their head sculpts off as first and then uh, it's probably going to be really difficult to rip that hair off but we'll just see how it goes. We got to heat it up first though. All right guys, probably gonna burn the shit out of my fingers and I'm not already looking forward to it, so get ready to laugh at me. So probably the best thing to do would be to remove the head sculpt, but it's so damn hot, I don't even know if I'll be able to freaking remove the head sculpt. It's actually super hard to, Jesus Christ in heaven. All right, we got the head sculpt off. Now we just have to rip the damn hair off and there's really no great way to do so. It just, you gotta get it hot enough to get that glue loose and then you just kind of work it and torque it and stuff like that. You really don't have to worry about ruining the face or anything as long as you don't dip it in cold water while you're doing this it should not like mess it up or anything like that you could actually end up tearing the back of it that's the only thing i'll say but you don't have to worry about like warping the head god dang man this ish is on there like it's coming off some but it is definitely on there so we can get out of trish right here popping the head sculpt off all right i think trish's hair would probably be a lot easier to come off i feel like it's because it's a different kind of mold this is like the longer hair mold so it should be a little bit easier jesus lord this isn't being easy at all. I've almost got it. Literally just these little bangs right here on the front are preventing me from getting them off. I may just have to dremel it off or something like that. There you go, and yeah. So there you go. I think the likeness is definitely there. All I gotta do is clean up this forehead, obviously. It's gonna require some stuff, but I think we can get it done. Not today, but we can get this done. This is definitely gonna work, I think. Especially if we can get the Trish hair piece on there as well. This is almost off. It's so freaking close. Maybe I could do like a little mock up of it if I can get this off of here. Alright, so there we go. Now let's see if what this looks like on here. Oh, snap. Obviously, oh, snap. That's kind of freaking crazy, dude. Obviously, the, the head has to be edited a little bit. You know, shave down the forehead a little bit. Get all this funk off the forehead. Get all this stuff going. A little BEW magic on this thing? With this hairpiece, bro? Oh, dude, that that's gonna work. Most beautiful figure in the land. Oh, dude, that's gonna work. That's cat money. Now I'm freaking hyped. I'm getting excited. Alright, well we got that. Hell yeah. Our next order of business is going to be, I'm sorry I'm not BEW I just, I, you know, I just freaking whipped this hoe up in a minute, but that's beautiful right there. That, that looks just like my wife I think. But now that we have ruined our Miss Elizabeth head sculpt, let's get into AJ Styles, which this should be a relatively simple swap. I've, I've seen ish hit the fan though, Brad. I have seen some ish hit the fan. Now the thing is, is you gotta remove both kick pads so if you guys are wanting to do this yourself and you want to make it both red kick pads. Very simple. You just need an Elite 61 AJ Styles and then, of course, the new Elite 77. But I am going to have to pop up both because I have to put the open black knee pads on there and then we will re-put them back on with the right one on there. 
or the left one, I should say. I just meant the right one that's supposed to be. The one that we want on there, okay? All right, so here we go. We're heating this issue up, and we're going to switch it. All right, guys, hopefully that is good enough. We're going to start off with our Elite 61 kick pad. Oh, my God in heaven, that's hot. Oh, God. Jesus Christ, dude. Kick pads? I remember the first time I ever switched a kick pad like this. It was dreadful. It was effing dreadful. Like, I... I used to, like, vow never to switch out kick pads because that's how bad it was. Like, it was so shitty, bro. All right, there we go with the right one. Now we got to pop this one off. We actually had to put both of them off, so it's god-awful that we have to do that. But God in heaven, that one wasn't as close to the John Brown heat, so we got to get this Japanese lettering knee pad off of there. And then we got to get the other one off somehow. Oh, it's coming. Ah, there we go. Now we got to get this knee pad off. And then after that, we're going to have to put the black open knee pads on. So getting that over there, let's check and see what knee pad this is. This is the right knee pad. So put this over this, sliding this on. I thought about putting red knee pads on there, and then I just said, nah, Brad, that's not going to be for me. At least not at this junk sure maybe we can get another release 77 down the road and do that fix up later on or something but for now this is what we got so there's the one knee pad hopefully these kick pads don't get cooled off or something and then have to make me curse like a hoe bag but getting this on here and then sliding this ish up you piece of garbage jesus in heaven and lord and god and soul and mary mother of joseph all right we got it all right now popping on the one slash left kick pad and this was what I was afraid of, damn it. All right, so the original kick pad seemed to go on there, but the one that we're trying to get on here is being a hoe. Ah. All right, we got that. We'll take a closer look at this ish at the end. But before we end this episode with my wife's head and the AJ Styles figure, we do have to eventually paint up our fiend Bray Wyatt so that is what we're going to do right now and we're going to get this ish going so you guys can see exactly how we're going to get this hair the accurate color that I think it should be. Alright guys so what I plan on doing is I plan on taking the yellow color from Apple Barrel this is the exact color we're going to use here today Apple Barrel Yellow Apple Barrel <laughs> Apple Barrel Yellow from Walmart. You can get this for like 67 cents or something like that, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this over here. It doesn't matter what brush you use, just use a small brush. I shake mine up, I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna use whatever paint is left in the top right here, just like so. I'm going to, to actually, that's, I don't know if I like that yellow color. Maybe, I don't know. I kinda, I low key wanna add like a touch of nutmeg brown to it, but I don't know. Actually, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. What we got right here is a cup of water, and what I'm literally gonna do is we're going to pour like just a little droplet of this water in here. Like that way it dilutes it a little bit. Just like a little touch of it in there, you know? Just get a little, just a little touch of it in there. Get a little watery. Not too, too watery, but you know, you wanna get a little watery. You wanna take your brush and mix this up because you want the, you want it to be like a watery paint kinda. Like not watercolor fully there, but you know, just, just some good watery paint right there. So once that's mixed up i'm gonna go back in my water and get the, all the paint off that way you know it's a wet brush you know get the excess off you know dry it off a little bit get the get the excess off and then we're going to pretty much apply like we're pretty much going to apply this to all of the hair in like a thin yellowy watery type style and we'll see what that looks like because what we're trying to do is trying to keep these roots kind of that lightish brown color but we want to get you know some lightish yellow going through all of this and we want the brown to seep through a little bit so that it gives it that realistic theme bray white color so let's see what we got all right guys i've been experimenting with the color of the theme for a little bit now trying to get the color right and i just do not like the color that I have come up with. So I'm trying to get it right the best way I can. And I think what I'm gonna end up doing is combining this Apple Barrel Yellow and Apple Barrel Nutmeg Brown. That's what BEW used on his Fiend figure and it turned out pretty good. I'm probably gonna mix these two paints together, see what we come up with. And you can get both of these at Walmart for like 67 cents a piece or something like that. So very, very cheap. You know, you don't have to spend a fortune on these paints. But let's find out how this goes.
Alright guys, so here is everything we've done here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. You guys will notice that I didn't get as much of the painting process as I wanted, and if you guys can see, here is the difference in the Bray Wyatt Fiend Head Sculpt hair paint. Now, it didn't come out exactly like I wanted. I am going to play around with it a little bit more because I'm still not completely sold on it. Here is a difference between the two. This is the before and this is the after. Now again, I tried to get that golden brownish look and it didn't turn out as good as I wanted it to. I'm sure if I played around with it a little bit more, I could probably get it a little bit better. I will say that Mattel's repaint of it looks so much better than the one that I got with the dark brown. And mine is definitely different. There's like some areas where I was testing out paints on the... There's areas on this hair piece where you guys can see where the paint's a little bit too thick and it comes out a little like hard liney instead of super natural because of me trying to test out the paints but I am overall happy with the way this looks over this over here and so that is a success for me I think I'll definitely take that and what I did ultimately if I didn't get it all out on the video there I did take the yellow right here and I did mix it together with the nutmeg brown from Apple Barrel both are available at Walmart super cheap paints and then I just just mix it in with a little water, get a little watered down, get it that nice medium golden brown color and then just went over the whole thing. It kind of seeps into the cracks and stuff like that. And if you're wondering, here is what my wife's head sculpt looks like for now and I think that is a super success. I'm super freaking proud of the way this came out and I can't wait to fully finish it. I think she's going to be totally shocked at what this, uh, how accurate this actually is. Like holy crap, it's kind of tripping me out. And then finally we do have AJ Styles from Elite Series 77 and this is what it looks like. Just your basic open knee pad swap and then the kick pads look great. They're not the exact same red color but they're close enough that you can't even really tell especially on camera. You will notice that the kick pad does come off on the sides right here to fully wrap around the boot but uh, nobody's looking at that ish Brad. He also does have chest hair which I did put on my Elite 74 when I got that figure so maybe I'll go back and fix that but that is going to do it for this edition of WWE Action Figure Surgery. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think of everything down below. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter My Damn Toys. We got Backlash tonight. Who's freaking hype? Stay tuned for the review tonight. Turn on your notification bell. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter My Damn Toys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.